Hey, what's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to find the arc length of a vector function. And this is the equation we are going to use. Now if you see we have to find the derivative of x, derivative of y, derivative of c in order to do this problem. Now from the given function you can see this is our x value, this is our y value and this is our z value. Let's write them first x is equal to square root of t, I mean square root of 2 times t and then y is equal to e power t and then z is equal to e power negative t. Now we have to find the derivative respect to t. So this is going to be dx over dt and if you find the derivative respect to t this is going to be just root 2. And the second one if you find the derivative of this one respect to t that's going to be just e power t. And the third one, if you find the derivative of this one respect to t, here we have negative 1 in front, so we have to multiply that one front, so that's going to be negative e power negative t. Now we have found out the derivative. Now all we have to do it, uh, all we have to do is plug it in this equation and find the final answer. Now let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be L is equal to integration. Here they have given the lower limit and upper limit right upper limits of integration now let's go ahead and plug it so this is going to be lower limits of integration is going to be zero and upper upper limits of integration is going to be one and then square root dx over dt square that's going to be square root of two square plus dy over dt square that's going to be e power t square and then dz over dt is going to be negative e power negative t square. Let's simplify this one. And this is going from, going from 0 to 1 and inside the square root of, I mean inside the square root we are going to have 2 and if you square this one that's going to be e power 2t and if you square this one this negative turn into positive and also this one multiply by 2. So this is going to be e power negative 2t dt. So here's the tricky part. Here we have to do what to do after this. And when you have sine function, cosine function, you may have seen like sine square plus cos square that is equal to 1. That's easy to do. And when you don't have that kind of things, what you have to do is you have to look whether we can factor this one. And uh, this is not easy to see but this is factorable. If you factor this one you will get integration of square root of e power t plus e power minus t square to make sure we can try it outside like we can see whether we get the same answer after this let's, let's put dt right here now let's uh, try this one let's expand this one and see whether we get the same answer e power t plus e power minus t that's square right square mean we write this one two times e power t plus e power negative t. Now let's multiply. e power t times e power t that's going to be e power 2t, right? e power t, e power 2t and then e power t times e power negative t. So when you multiply these powers will add. So t plus minus t that's going to be 0. So this is going to be 0 and e power negative t, e power t again it's going to be 0 and e power negative t times e power negative t that's going to be e power negative 2t and if you simplify this one e power 2t and e power 0 is 1 and e power again e power 0 is 1 so this is also 1 and then here we are going to have e power negative 2t now let's come let's simplify this one as you can see 2 plus e power 2t plus e power negative 2t. So here we are getting the same uh, answer as this one. Right? It means this is correct factor, right? Now, all, uh, since this is a perfect square, we can get rid of the square root. So the next thing is we are going to have integral. If I get rid of the square root, this is going to be e power t plus also we have to put the limit right here 0 to 1 0 to 1 plus e power negative t dt 
now this is easy to integrate so you're going to have e power t plus e power negative t and if you integrate so negative t is different like when you integrate this is going to remain the same but you have to divide by the derivative so derivative of this negative t is going to be negative 1 and if you divide this one by negative 1 that's going to be negative e power negative t so we put negative sign right here and e power negative t going from 0 to 1 and uh, you know so we just wrote this one to prove this one now let's get rid of this part we need some space right so let's get rid of this part and continue right here so let's put dt this will be dt and let's continue this one right here okay so here we have e power t minus e power negative t now first we are going to plug one so this is going to be e power one minus e power negative one and then minus e power zero minus e power negative zero that's going to be zero and from this one you can already see that these two cancels so we don't have to worry about this side this is going to be just like this so this is our final answer final answer is going to be e, power, e minus e power negative 1 and there are many way you can write this one like for example if you have mcq question and if you don't see the question uh, answer like this the this can be written as in different ways like e minus 1 over e this is one way because e power negative 1 is 1 over e right and another way is if you take e as a common denominator this is going to be e square minus 1 right so this is another way to write this and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time